Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today's video has been a very highly requested video from you guys. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're talking about the one and only Owen Farrell. Yes, Owen Farrell got into a little bit of trouble over the weekend. His very first red card in the match between Saracens and London Wasps. Well, technically they're called Wasps. They got rid of the name London ever since they moved to Coventry, which still is a very bizarre thing for me. But anyway, London Wasps, Wasps. You know, if you're an OG, it's London Wasps. But, you know, they are called the Wasps now. And obviously there was a red card. There was an incident between Owen Farrell and Charlie Atkinson and to be honest it was an interesting tackle I mean could we say it's a tackle it was more of a you know someone swinging their arm and hoping for the best and poor Charlie went on the floor straight away we should also say poor to Owen as well because you know the second Owen went to the ground he was like sorry sorry I know my fault he knew exactly what was going to happen and then yeah Christopher went, see you mate, there's a red card, and obviously Owen Farrell, being the guy he is, great sportsmanship, you know, waited by the sideline, waited for Charlie to get back on his feet, said hello, are you okay mate, blah blah blah, blah. and obviously then went to the dressing room. So, the reason why I'm doing this video is obviously over the weekend, Saracens were playing Wasps, and if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you guys know I like to talk about Saracens, because Saracens is my club team, I've been supporting Saracens ever since I was like four or five. Now, it's interesting, because because in a few weeks time Saracens do play Leinster and that's kind of like the only competition right now in the Championship Cup which Saracens are really fighting for as you guys are probably aware Saracens have been relegated due to financial play and I've been posting videos on the channel talking about this so it's interesting to say the least I mean yeah we were warming up for Leinster we were playing the matches you know getting us involved and I was tweeting about the game and Owen Farrell wasn't really having his best of games and you know he missed a few kicks there was a penalty he missed touch and I don't know if this is a blessing in the skies so let's say Owen Farrell does get a ban for many many matches you know Manny Villapola is in great form for Saracens and to be honest would I take an inform Manny Villapola Versus an out of form Owen Farrell? Maybe. Because Owen Farrell, when he's not on form, he's not on form. Like, not kicking into touch. Like, he, I understand, and I will, we'll talk about the red card in a moment, but with Owen Farrell, like, he always wants to go one and beyond, but it doesn't always work and just play the simple kick. But anyway, I don't know if it's a blessing in the skies. It might be, but you know, we'll, we'll find out. But tomorrow on September 8th, Owen Farrell will find out his disciplinary. Will it be a no match ban? I imagine that's not the case. Saracens are more likely to get their relegation reverted than Owen Farrell actually getting a zero match ban. And it could be two weeks, it could be ten weeks, some people are saying six months. We don't know, but obviously the big thing to talk about is obviously Leinster coming up for Saras. It's a huge match, especially with us being relegated. But also by the fact we have one round left of the Six Nations. Eddie Jones would want his captain. Owen Farrell is the captain of England Rugby. So there's big arm and R's going right now, like... What's going to happen? We don't know. But Owen Farrell's disciplinary record for Saracens is actually pretty good. So I actually have the stats here, and it's pretty interesting. So Owen Farrell has played 197 games for Saracens, and he's only had six yellow cards and the one red card from over the weekend. So based on this, Owen Farrell doesn't really, like, do too much wrong. I'm sure all of you guys are aware, but for some of you guys who are not aware, whenever a red card happens in rugby, if the disciplinary hearing is for a couple of weeks and there's a match in a couple of days, then the player can still play it. I believe uh, but obviously with the the hearing happening tomorrow and the next match for Saracens I think it's in a few days time obviously Owen Farrell will find out his fate now with rugby compared to football like in football you get a red card it's like a standard free match ban but in rugby it's a little bit different they take in the situation the tackle the history of the player all this kind of stuff to understand how long this player should be banned for you know if you buy a player it could be 10 matches I mean Chris Ashton's had multiple red cards I believe and every single time he gets another red card it just gets longer and longer and longer so Owen Farrell with his first ever red card that could go in his Favor, but there's a lot of people out there going I, I, I just can't see it not being a long ban so I'm going to show you the video show you the tackle and I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about this and 
after watching the tackle, please let me know in the comments down below how long do you think Owen Farrell will be banned for? Please let me know. Well, we've got a busy, busy schedule of games here, but goodness me, that was the most significant moment of the Saracens was game. Owen Farrell red carded for a high tackle on Charlie Atkinson. And then it is Jack Willis, uh, Tom Willis, rather, brother of Jack, going over for the try, which secures victory for Wasps. Um, Lawrence, that, just looking at that, uh, that clip, that was a red card, no yeah. question about that. That could have serious implications for England, but at the moment, most importantly, for Saracens with their big yeah, games a, coming up. It's a really bad one, I can't defend that. I mean, we know Owen plays hard, he plays on the edge, but that's... You know that is bad and he will get a lengthy ban and there's a lot of people on social media will say well that's karma you know if you it, we know it's been a problem with owen in terms of his tackle height and you know look he's going to be he's going to really struggle i mean let's have another look at this again he's he's walloped him high he knows he's completely mistimed that i'm not quite sure exactly what he's aiming for there but you know he's completely mistimed it he's hooked him around the neck and as you say that is bad news for saracens with that you know, Champions Cup well, quarter final time, coming in two weeks' yeah. time. So he's going to miss that. And I suspect he'll miss quite a lot of the remainder of this of this season, for sure, and possibly even the Nations Cup too. Yeah, of course, England against uh, Italy, their final yeah. game of the Six Nations at the end of October. We'll see how that develops. But uh, I don't think he'll be turning out for Saracens for some considerable time to come. So as you guys can see, that tackle was pretty atrocious. It, it wasn't great. It wasn't great at all. And when you watch it in slow-mo, it's just... I don't know what he's thinking, really. I honestly don't know what he's thinking. And I'm a big Saracens fan. I'm a big Owen Farrell fan. You know, I post loads of pictures of him on Instagram. He's quite a handsome chap. I mean, I love the guy, really. I mean, you know, I can't really fault him. Now, as we know, Owen Farrell is a Marmite player. Now, what I mean by that is, is you either love him or you hate him. Now, most teams in Europe don't really like him because the way he tackles, he doesn't really tackle, does he? He does a lot of high challenges, and I don't know if they'll take this into consideration, even though it's not in his history in terms of he's being carded. But he has the reputation of not really tackling, and I imagine the board know this, and maybe they might be like, oh, him. Mate, you just gotta just to stop what you're doing and just start tackling, like start tackling properly, you know. So we have that, but we also have the people who like me who are like him. Like I post pictures of him on Instagram. I think he's a very handsome fella. I mean, I bet he gets many likes on Tinder. But obviously, he's, he, I think he's married now and with a kid, so he wouldn't be on Tinder, would he? But uh, if he was, I mean, I'm sure many, many people would super like him and swipe away. So, yeah, like I said, the second, you know, Owen Farrell did something wrong, especially that day, I just saw Twitter just bomb, bomb, bomb. Every person who wasn't a Saracens fan was kind of going, yeah, six months, whatever, give him the highest punishment, blah, 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 blah. I mean, there was times there were some Saracens fans going, you know, what he did wasn't good and... He should be banned. So there's a lot of things going along. So who knows? Who knows? But like I said, tomorrow is the day Owen Farrell finds out about his disciplinary. What do you guys think? Personally, for me, I would like it to be two weeks and therefore he's available for the length of the game. But realistically, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I'm i thinking it's going to be a 10-week ban. That That's my guess. But obviously, like I said, we've got the Six Nations coming up. You know, Eddie Jones won't be happy. I mean, some people are saying, well, will Eddie Jones go, please, RFU, please. Like, you know, don't ban Owen Farrell. That, that could happen, but, you know, but people are saying that Owen Farrell is like the golden child, the golden boy, and he is. But I, I think, you know, they might give him a good slap on the wrist. They might give him two weeks. They might give him three weeks. Uh, but personally, from past experience with red cards and challenges, I think it's at least 10 weeks, um, which would suck. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my guess. 10-week ban is what I'm thinking. What are you guys thinking? Please let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below for regarding this. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.